Bismillah wa salatu wa salam Rasulillah. So now we're still in lesson 13. This is part B. Part B. So now they're going to emphasize the plural, the feminine plural. So before we learn stuff like this, let me just quickly draw your attention to this. Before we've learned pronouns of huwa, okay? We learned the pronoun huwa. The, and that means he is. The, pl the plural of that is hum. They, they are. Now we also know here. Okay, here means she is. Now the plural of this is hunna, which we are going to see used in this lesson. So it says, Man ha'ula il fatayatu ya Maryam. Who are these young women, O Maryam? Hunna zamilati. They are my classmates. Aakhawatun hunna. Are they sisters? Naam, hunna akhawatun. Yes, they are sisters. Man abu hunna. Who's their father? Abu hunna ashekhu bilal. Their father is Sheikh Bilal. Ummu hunna ustadati. Their mother is my teacher. Aina baytu hunna. Where's their house? Baytu hunna qaribun min al madrasati. The house is close to the madrasa. So now you can see everything that we'd learned previously that baytu hu, baytu ha. That was his house, her house. Now it's baytu hum, their house, or buyutu hum, or their houses. Or baytu ha becomes baytu hunna. Baytu hunna meaning their house. Okay, baytu hunna, their house. So baytu hunna qaribun min al madrasati. Like this, this is the usage of the plural now. The plural pronoun of hunna. And as you can see, the, 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 of the plurals that we're using in this, less, this part of the lesson, zamilati, that's a sound feminine plural, as it ends in the alif and ta. Now that ya at the end is for what? As we learnt in lesson 10, to show that it's my. Zamilati, my classmates. Okay? So also, what we also learnt is hadha, meaning this is, okay? Then the plural of this is haulai. Haulai. Okay. Hadihi for this is as well for a human. We only use haulai for the humans. Okay. So haulai is also the plural of hadihi. They both share the same plural. Okay. But the issue is now when we're talking about humans, we use haulai. Any plural that is not a human and it's actually an object or an animal, we treat that as if it's a singular feminine noun. So we use hadihi for non-human plurals. Anything that's not human, we use hadihi and tilka, as we will come to see, inshallah ta'ala. So as you can see, we have... The first exercise, حول المبتدى في الجمل الآتية إلى جمع كما هو موضح في المثال. It says change the subject in these sentences to a plural as has been made clear in the example. So المثال هذه بنت. This is a girl. هؤلاء بنات. These are girls. So that's the same thing you're going to do for the rest of the next 11 sentences. And then we have Iqra Waktub, read and write. And Antum ala ilmin bihada al amr al an. You guys know what this means now, inshallah ta'ala. So just look, oh, observe this rule that I've showed you, the introduction of the plural noun. And it's the same rules apply as what we have learnt up until now. Just we are using plurals now. So the question is, how do we form the plural? You're literally going to memorize the plural as you see it. They've given the plural for you. And these will be listed in your vocabulary books also. So just memorize it like vocab literally. And inshallah ta'ala you'll find it very easy and it'll make sense. But as I always emphasize any questions, please do not hesitate to get in contact with me. So as you can see, just the continuation of those sentences that you ought to read and write. Then we have exercise uh, number three. Okay, exercise number three. At Tamrin Thalith. It says, Iqra al Mithal, Thumma Hawul al Jumal al Atiya Mithlahu. Read the example and then change the sentences like them. So, Al Mithal, Zainabu Kharajat min al Fasli. Zainab left the classroom. Zainabu wa Aminatu wa Maryamu Kharajna min al Fasli. Okay, so now we're trying to introduce the attached pronoun of the plural verb. Okay, 
So as I taught you a while ago, if you had kharaja, kharaja means he left, okay? When we want to make it for she left, for here, we say kharajat, okay? Kharajat, and this makes sukun on this ta at this tower of sukun. However, now, when we want to say they left, female, plural, we say, let me do it in just a different class so it stands out nice. We say kharajna. So this noon is called the noon and niswa. Noon and niswa, the noon of women. So this is for the plural. So in this sentence it says, Zainabu wa aminatu wa maryamu kharajna min al-fasli. So Zainab and Amina and Maryam, they left from the classroom. So this is the plural now using kharajna. How do you make that verb plural for those women? We add this noon at the end as is clear in this example. So read those sentences and change them accordingly as we have just seen, inshallah ta'ala. You see. So also this here, it says, Al-Mudarrisatu Dhahabat. Not Dhahabata, that's wrong. Dhahabat. That should be a sukoon like this. Dhahabat ila al-fasli. At-talibutu al-jadidatu jalasat. Yes, fil fasli. Bintu Muhammadin dhahabat ila al-madrasati. So you're going to change those sentences to plural. Okay. Then it says, Ashir ila al-asma'i al-taliya bi-ismin isharati, bi-ismi isharatin lil-qaribi, hadha hadhi ha'ula'i. So let me just quickly rub this out and show you what it's asking you to do here in exercise number four. Okay. So here it's saying Ashir. Now we learnt, for example, in lesson one, Hada means this is for something masculine, close, singular. Hadihi for feminine. Now the plural for both of these is Hau Lai. Okay? Hau Lai. So now it's saying these are the three options. Hada, this is masculine. Hadihi, this is feminine. Hau Lai, this is plural humans. They want you to put one of these. Uh, Asma'ul Ishara, demonstrative nouns in the missing space, in the empty gap to complete the sentence, inshallah. So, for example, number one, it says, Akhi, what are you going to put there? Hada, hadihi, or haulai? That's what you need to do in that exercise, inshallah ta'ala. Then we have exercise number five, where it says, Da'fil Faraq. Put in the empty places, places من الجمل الآتية ضميرا مناسبا هو هي هم هنا. So now you need to put in a suitable pronoun. You need to put in a suitable pronoun in the empty spaces. For example, هو is he is the plural of this is هم. They are or yeah, and here as I mentioned is. She is. The plural of that is hunna. They are women. So you have to put the correct uh, pronoun to complete these sentences. It says, Man hadha rajulu. Who's this man? Is it going to be huwa, hiya, hum, or hunna to complete this sentence? Inshallah ta'ala. Then we have exercise number six. Hati jam'ul asma. Hati jam'ul asma al atiya. Give me the plural of the following nouns. So again, this is requiring you to remember the plurals of the following nouns. Just write down the plurals next to those nouns, inshallah ta'ala.